Hi, Serena here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today it's all about brushes. I bought them for watercolor work, but many can be used for other media. Now a box just arrived from Jackson's, and I also have some brushes that I bought but haven't used, so we'll call that a faux unboxing. So let's start with those. Okay, now I got one of these, which I've been dying to get some small brushes because I need some for detailed work. This one is Jackson's. Actually, these are all from Jackson's, but they're not all Jackson's brand. This one's an Artica Torre white synthetic, 100% vegan, which is nice. It's good for dry brush work and also detail. Let me take it out of here, show you a little bit what it looks like. I like the cellophane they have. It's rather noisy. Sorry about the noise. But they've got that one packaged quite nicely. It's a nice size for some detail work, so I'm glad for that. <laughs> I've been waiting for some of those. Okay, then we have um, an Artica, also Artica, number six travel brush from Jackson's. It's a nice size. I like that. Of course, the travel brush, you know, the cap extends to make the handle length a very nice length. It's a good size for travel, um, good for fine work. And that's the number six that I've got. I'll be careful putting that back in here. And I also wanted to try an Escoda. I've heard good things about Escoda brushes. Since I've gotten a six, size six, I thought I would get a size four. Okay, now these are also 100% vegan. This is the Versatil, the Escoda Versatil number four. Let's see if I can get a uh, piece of paper here so you can see a little better. That might show up a little better on there. Okay, and these are from Spain. This is their alternative to Kalinsky Sable. Now, if I only had space for one travel brush, the number four is a good size. I would use that one. Uh, it's good for washes, quick plein air sketches and, you know, fits with smaller notebooks. So if you're just grabbing some things to go, it's perfect. Uh, but it's still also good to capture details. It's not too large that you can't capture some details there. Now, I did get a package of, this I already opened before, this I got a package of their Icon 3 brush set and it's their Studio Synthetic Blend. And the reason I bought more brushes in the Jackson's line is because I actually tried the quill in this. It's really nice. It's, uh, I'm impressed with the quality. Um, the set also has a number eight round and a half inch flat. So let me take them out for you here. Okay, and there's the quill very nice size. I wasn't used to such a large brush, but actually once I start u started using it, I really liked it. So there's the quill, and there's the 8 inch round. They seem to be very qu good quality. I like the balance of the handle. The handle is finished very nicely in a matte finish. The bristles are attached to the furl very um, securely. So I do like that. And Now in this set I never had a flat. I'm looking forward to trying that one. That looks like a very nice size too. Okay, now um, they are excellent quality. Uh, so it's a nice starter set. I like that set. In fact, they make a nice gift for an artist on your list. So Just to keep in mind as the season comes up here. Now we have a box from Jackson's that arrived. I'm dying to see what is in this. And I don't quite know why it is that artists don't seem to have a proper knife. <laughs> We're artists for God's sake. Uh, but there we go. Okay, let's see here. Of course, I'm cutting it toward me, which I shouldn't do. Right, but we'll get this open here. 
Oh my goodness. It's a toughie, isn't it? Okay, there we go. I like that they have this little note on here. Happy unboxing. <laughs> they know artists. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Oh, we've got a packing slip. We'll put that to the side. There we go. Ooh, a lot to do. Oh, I've got two packages here. A lot to do for two packages. Isn't it? Right, let me take this aside. Look at that there. It gets out of our way. So I did get... Um, now everything in here is Jackson's own brand. The only one I got before was the Escoda. Now this one is the Studio Synthetic Brush set of four. It comes with rounds in number two. Uh, that should be four and that should be six. Doesn't seem to be a protectors on there. Well, that one is a little bit wonky. Um, and a, and a uh, rigger. So let's see what these look like here. And again, sorry for the little shatter of the... Oh, there's the protective cap that came off. Oh, there's an, oh they, came, they slid to the bottom. Mm, might be good to have a piece of tape holding them on. But we do have those the nice assortment here. I always wanted to try a rigger. Now riggers are good for script writing, both thin and thick lines. Now because of the brush length on a rigger, it tends to hold paint for a long time. So that's good for a continuous line. It's good for landscapes if you want to do grasses or reeds, things like that. Now these are of course also 100% vegan and Jackson's lists these series as excellent for all abilities, uh, economical for beginners. It's a nice nice brush set. It's got a lot of variety there. So I'm looking forward to using that. Now that off and I've got this one. Oh my goodness. This is quite full of brushes. Slide those out carefully. Oh my. I've got a lot in there. Okay, some of the caps it looks like came off in transit on these. Okay. So with this with this group of brushes I have an Icon Quill number three zero. This is the Icon Quill. No, this is the four. Here's the three zero. This one's comparable to the other Icon number two. Let me take the cap off that. But of course it's smaller. Um, smaller brush may be easier to use for everyday general purpose. Okay, so that's nice. Nice size there. That's the quill, 3-0. Then I got rounds in 2, 4, and 6. There's my 2. Oh, that's a different one. Uh, there's my 4. Let me take the cap off so you can actually see these. And there's the 6. 2, 4, and 6. Okay. And those are nice sizes for detail work. Looks like the two got a little bit... I think, I'm pretty sure once I wet these, they'll go back to shape. It's, it's just a little bit jostled in transit. Now, I did get a Raven synthetic mop, size 4. I've heard so many things about this, uh, so many good things, and I wanted something really large for washes when I do a watercolor sky, um, something where I need a lot of water, a lot of wet surface area for uh, very quickly. Now this is also vegan, it's a synthetic squirrel, okay, and that looks like a very nice size there, look at that. I'm sure that's going to hold a lot of water, that'll be very thirsty. Now after this I got a uh, Raven synthetic, uh, did that one already, it has the white Torre, this we talked about in the prior parcel, and this is a number two, All right, so I got that one for detailed work again. Then I thought I would try a, something from their silver line, it's a uh, number eight cat's tongue, 
You can see the end of that there. Maybe you can see it better there or on the black directly. The cat's tongue now is used to paint leaves um, and other details. Now it's affordable. Silverline is, is their series of brushes for specialized marks and details. So um, I look forward to using that one. Then I, try, I tried a dagger brush. This one is, looks like it didn't have a protective cap on it. It got a little bit smooshed, but I'm sure it's going to bounce back once I wet it. Uh, this is a 3 8 brush. It's from their specialty range. Now these are natural hair bristles. So if you want to stay away from those, of course, um, natural hair though does hold water and performs completely differently uh, from the synthetics. So sometimes there are there are applications where you do want a natural hair. Uh, so I thought I would try this. It is a specialty range. It does assist in rendering foliage and uh, different forms, different types of forms. That's how they list it. Now I'd like to show you how that number two quill performs. So let me go ahead and set up for that. All right, so now I'll show you how this number two quill performs. Now while I'm doing this, if there's anything you'd like more to see more detail on, leave me a comment below. Okay. Look at that, how thirsty it is, and it just soaks up all that lovely watercolor. And it's surprising, though, how fine a line you can get with this. Look at that. Draw all manner of lines with it. It's very nice, very versatile. Quite a nice brush. I really like it. I am so glad I got it. I definitely recommend it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the subscribe button, and thanks for watching.